It's my pleasure to introduce uh, NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory climate scientist, Dr. Peter Kalmus. He's a former Bernie 2020 surrogate. He got his PhD in physics from Columbia University and received NASA's Early Career Public Achievement Medal. A very accomplished climate scientist who is here to tell us about why we need a people's party. He speaks, of course, as all speakers on his own behalf. Peter, it's great to have you. Thanks, Nick. So, um, yeah, I'm a, I'm a scientist, a climate scientist. Um, I'm also a human. I'm a father, I'm um, a citizen, and I am terrified of what I'm seeing um, coming down, what's here right now and what's coming in the future uh, with climate breakdown and ecological breakdown. Um, we're all feeling it right now. We're feeling the wildfires in the West. We're feeling the hurricanes hammering the Southeast. We're feeling the floods in the Midwest. Um, we have climate migrants on the rise. We have ice sheets melting. We have ocean circulations that we count on for our weather shutting down. Uh, we have threats to our food system and our water system. And this is just at the very beginning of what we're going to experience over the next few years and decades. And that's why I'm here today. I can't see what I'm seeing and sit on the sidelines. It's, it's literally impossible for me not to speak out and sound the alarm. <laughs> you know, some people might call me an alarmist, but I don't think I am because I think the alarm is absolutely completely justified by the mountain of scientific evidence. And now you don't even need to be a scientist to know what's happening. You can feel it in the heat waves. You can feel it in your lungs when you go for days and days during wildfire smoke. People are dying now. Um, people are having their livelihoods wrecked. They're having their homes destroyed. Um, they're moving from other nations up towards the poles. Later this century, if we don't have a radical change of course, a very large band around the equator, we're talking something like a billion people, could end up needing to migrate towards the poles because the humid heat will be too much for their bodies to actually survive in. And this isn't science fiction. That's the thing that gets me. Um, it's not the new normal. We're on an escalator, basically, toward getting worse. It's going to stay getting worse and worse until we have massive, rapid, radical systems change. To do that, we need policies. We basically need policies that would destroy the fossil fuel industry. Because we're not talking about just reducing it a little bit. We're not talking about a 10% reduction in the fossil fuels that we burn and the greenhouse gas emissions that we emit every year. We're talking about going down to zero on a massively fast time scale, which means a, a radical transformation of society, our energy systems, transportation systems, um, the way we work, the way we eat, um, the way we interact with other nations. It's, it's radical. We're, the time for incremental change is completely over. And what I've noticed over the decades, I've been, a, I've been terrified about this for 15 years, and I've been an activist for, and a scientist for 15 years. And both parties are clearly beholden to the fossil fuel industry. It's as simple as that. Both parties take donations. One party certainly is in hard denial. They actually say this is a hoax, which is just makes my head explode. But the other party also takes donations. The other party also um, participates in the revolving door. They have campaign advisors who are lobbyists for the fossil fuel industry, for fracking and for the oil industry. It's, it's crazy. Um, just recently, the DNC said that they would not end fossil fuel subsidies, which is a complete no-brainer. This huge billion, um, even by some estimates, trillion globally, a dollar handouts to the wealthiest industry, the, one of the wealthiest industries the planet's ever known. It's a no greater to stop that. And the Democratic Party can't even say that they're going to stop fossil fuel subsidies, let alone do the Green New Deal that we need. So it's clear to me that the fossil fuel industry will keep fighting dirty when their survival is at stake, because we need to shut them down with policies. They will fight 10 times as hard as they ever have. They'll continue buying off politicians and they'll continue um, misinforming the pub lying, just baldly lying to the public about what's actually happening on our planet. So we need a party, we need a political system that is not beholden to them, that 
that is independent, that doesn't take corporate money and doesn't do does what the people want and does what the planet needs and not what the corporations want. Um, you know, I just want to do science. I want to raise my family on a planet that's not burning. I want the coral reefs to stay alive. Um, I want policies that end this nightmare of global heating and climate and ecological breakdown. This is a task of cosmic importance. The decisions we make in the next few years will affect humanity and our planet for thousands and even in some ways for millions of years. Thank you.